Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. And in today's video, this is kind of like a video response to MKBHD's uh, perfect smartphone. So basically he's taking his favorite phones and basically meshing them up to make one perfect cell phone. And here's going to be my take on what I think would be the best cell phone in 2013. So on design wise, guys, I'd have to go with the Nokia Lumia 822 Windows Phone 8 device. You can just see, and once I played with the phone in the store, I was like, wow, Nokia really knows how to make really legit BC phones. Everybody says the HTC One is a great phone. Nokia makes some really badass design. It's a, it might be a brick, but the phone you know will hold up and it looks nice, even though it's a brick. I love brick type phones, to be honest with you guys. You can drop it and you're not going to be afraid that it's going to break. For the size of the phone, I'd have to go with the 4.2 inch 720 display like you'd find on the BlackBerry Z10. For me and my small hands, I think that just fits comfortable and it's easy to type with one hand and not have to worry about struggling with typing with two hands. That's my ultimate uh, phone size. And y'all know the Nokia Lumia 1020 41 megapixel camera is the ultimate camera phone with the Carl Zeiss lens and a real flash. It just, it's a beast. That's the ultimate camera phone in my mind. And the best display I would have to give to the iPhone 5, that's just my honest opinion from actually using the device. So with the display, the retina display that the iPhone offers, it's a pretty damn good phone. Even though it came out in 2012, it is still one of the best phones out there. Pretty much, I would say, with the uh, resolution that it has, it's more of a 720p display than the new 1080p display. But you're really not going to know the difference, to be honest. The average person going to pick the phone up and say, damn, that's sharp. For me, I'd actually have to say the Samsung makes the best battery life on the Samsung Galaxy S3, the Samsung Galaxy Note. These phones, I could take off the charger at 8 a.m., and at midnight, I still have about 30 to 40 percent battery life. So if it can last all day, that is a great battery life for me and my use only. So you guys might be thinking the HTC One or the iPhone or even the Motorola phones have better battery life. But for what I use my phone for, I would have to say battery life is number one and it is great on the Samsung Galaxy S3. And if I was having the uh, prices phone out for being all the ultimate spec phone, I would say on a contract, I would say about 150 would be an ultimate price for this phone for the uh, ultimate specs that it has. It would have it would have a Snapdragon 800 uh, processor with two gigs of RAM running LTE. It would have an expandable micro SD card slot up to 64 gigs with internal. Uh, memory of 64 or 120 gigs because a lot of people like myself love to have the most memory you can on a smartphone and 64 gigs or 120 gigs would be this phone and it would be 150 on contract and off contract I would say this phone would be 399 and I would have Android 4.3 with TouchWiz because I think, honestly, a lot of people love the Samsung interface. I love Samsung interface. A lot of people love stock Android. But I think what the Android touch with on the Samsung Galaxy S4 is what a lot of people love. It's just uh, very easy and very simple to use. So uh, with that being said, guys, remember to rate. Even if you hate, comment, subscribe. This has been a video response to MKBHD, the perfect smartphone for 2013. Let me know what your perfect smartphone is. If you could take any smartphone out today and mesh them together, what would your ultimate smartphone be? Would it be a HTC One with a BlackBerry Q10 uh, physical QWERTY keyboard? Because I know a lot of people still love those physical QWERTY keyboards and they don't like the actual on-screen keyboard. So it, I would love to hear what you guys got to say. It's just a, a cool little video. I thought you guys would be able to make video responses or you guys would be able to just type in the comment section below and uh, interact more often with a video like this. So uh, I'll definitely see you guys in the next uh, video. Um, I'll see you guys soon. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I'm out of this bitch. Later.